it, what it means. And here we are back again with the man that knows about butterflies or a few other things, motion and you name it, right? Good morning, how are you? Max Sadeth, he's from my side, the Museum of Science and Innovation and what's going on with the butterflies again? Again, well the butterflies were so popular last year that we're bringing them back. We have a special members opening just for members of the museum on the 13th and then they open to the general public on Saturday the 15th. And you know, we're open every day uh, Monday through Saturday from 9 to 5 and on Sundays from noon to 5. So you're open every day? Yes. No, I, no reason not to go. Right. And it's, I think it'll be very cheering to, given the weather we've got right now to <laughs> go inside and walk with several hundred monarch butterflies. And it's interesting, I went last year because this is your second, are you going to build a butterfly house again? Of course you have to. Uh, to keep it contained. Yes, we've, we've, the butterfly house is there. We're putting the plants in this morning. Some of the butterflies arrived yesterday. We have a bunch of caterpillars in the basement, busy eating many times their weight uh, so they can become chrysalises and hatch out into butterflies and, during the run of the exhibit. And people will see that happen. Oh, yeah. yeah. You'll see all the stages of, the, of butterfly development. We'll have uh, mostly monarchs, but we'll also have red admirals and painted ladies and uh, several kinds of swallowtail butterflies as well. Well, I, I must say, it's amazing to walk into that butterfly house. And then as you're leaving, people are picking butterflies off you, off your hair and your shirt and your back. You don't let them out unless the butterflies are all off them, right? Right. Sometimes we get hitchhikers, and so we want to I take the hitchhikers, hitchhikers off. Hitchhikers but, off. But, but and they seem to not be too concerned about people. They just No, butterflies are not really afraid of very much. Yeah. And uh, the Their brain is probably pretty small. <laughs> well, it, the interesting thing about the, uh, and some people wear perfumes or, or, or colors that really attract the butterflies. Oh. And so you just never know. And then sometimes, you know, the uh, people come to be cheered up. And, you know, we, at my we side. We have photos, too, yeah, so that's yeah. great. We'll look at that. At my side, we mainly think about being a sort of edutainment for families, so uh -huh. that families with children come. But for the butterflies, we get senior citizens. We've got young couples who are dating, sort of a romantic date to come to the butterfly house. Anybody get married in the butterfly house? Not yet. Well, we, hey, there's an idea. We've had a couple get married in the planetarium. Oh, okay. So, and several proposals. I mean, if you, if you want to make a special deal with this, we can flash your proposal on the stars. Uh, whoa, so, how about that? And the stars, oh, would that be cool? Yeah, several people have thought so. Yeah, that's so you, you don't have to we, reprogram we're, it every we're, time you got it. We're just always yet. worried, what if she says no, you know? This, the alignment will change. Yes. <laughs> right. Um, so the butterflies are going to be up through April, right? Isn't yes, they'll, they'll run through mid-April. Yeah. Uh, we do them, we start off with the February break when all the kids are out of school, and we end up with the April break. And then we have There's to take... A, that's a monarch right yeah, there. Yeah, that's definitely a monarch. We have to take everything down and to get ready for our summer exhibit. But we have another exhibit, Notion of Motion, which is very interactive. Right, and I think course, we'll be looking at some of that. Right now we're looking yeah, at looking some at of the butterflies. butterflies. Yeah. Okay, well the butterflies are just are wonderful and the monarch is a great story. And someone earlier was talking about milkweed. And one of the things that we're trying to get across to people is that the numbers of monarchs are dwindling because their habitat's being destroyed, both in Mexico, where they're cutting down the pine trees where they overwinter. Oh. And people are also spraying their fields and killing all the milkweed. And, and so, milkweed is not a weed for monarchs. Uh, yeah, actually milkweed is for monarchs. That's all. That's what I'm saying, it's not, yeah. a, it's not a weed for, yeah. in other words, yeah. they need it. Yeah, they have to, it's the, it's the only thing that the caterpillars eat. Yeah. And uh, so we're gonna try to encourage people to have a little patch of milkweed in their yard, especially if they wanna oh, see monarchs. Oh, that's a good idea, monarchs. yeah. Uh, it's sort of like the Carner Blue, you know, they, their habitat is being threatened as well. Right, right. Well, they're, they're, the Carner Blue is really has a problem because they only live a few days. They don't reproduce as many times a year as the monarch does. Oh, I see. Okay. So, but if we do monarch, you know, and their habitat's very localized. Now, is this where you hear about the monarch migration, where uh -huh. they'll just, the sky will be filled with these? Well, there's several generations of monarchs. In the spring, the monarchs, uh, the caterpill caterpillars come out of the eggs. They eat as much milkweed as they can. If uh, a human baby ate as much and grew as fast as a monarch that in a few weeks they'd be the size of a city bus. Yeah, so, so But the monarch caterpillar yeah. eats a lot of milkweed and then they, they uh, make a chrysalis. Unlike a moth, they don't make a cocoon, they make a chrysalis, which is really like a second skin or a skin. And then they come out of the chrysalis and dry off as a monarch. 
and they mate and lay eggs and the cycle uh, starts again. And the eggs that they lay hatch out in the late summer and fall and those become caterpillars that become monarchs that fly to Mexico. No matter wh whether they're in Canada or California or New York, they make this wondrous migration all the way to Mexico. Is that, that's incredible. And they overwinter there and they fly part of the way back. And uh, they have offspring and those offspring make it back to where they started from. Now, sort of like they, the salmon, yeah. How yeah. they know to do that. Incredible. So. Um, well, you, you kind of intrigued me with the milkweed. Is that something if, uh, say, we're here in the Northeast, if we put milkweed in our back areas, would that help? Sure, sure. And they would know that it's there? I don't have to put a sign up? Milkweed no, here. the <laughs> monarchs will eventually find it. They, they okay. know, lay their eggs on the, near the milkweed and then the caterpillars come out and eat Oh, it. I'm going to try yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Well, we also have other plants in the butterfly house that are native plants that are indigenous to New York that butterflies like. Things like Joe Pye weed and spice bush and, um, you know, everybody knows about butterfly bush, the well, budlia, but those aren't really native plants. Okay. And so we're trying to encourage people also to think about native plants to plant uh, to attract other kinds of butterflies. Well, if you want to learn an awful lot, it, not just about butterflies, but about motion, because you partnered with the Explorator, San Francisco Exploratorium with their uh, exhibition. Uh, they certainly are bringing in some wonderful exhibitions and it's a way for your kids to learn and have fun. Yes. Have fun with science. Right, we call it edutainment. It's yeah. the Exploratorium exhibition, Notion of Motion, is very interactive and, and people explore it of all ages, but uh, we notice that they come back again and again to see it. Well, I know when I'm there, I'm like, I, I've just dropped down to about eight years old because I'm just like, push the kids out of the way. I want to get in here. <laughs> no, I don't do that really. But anyway, great stuff. You're doing wonderful, wonderful things in our community. My side is up at, at uh, not Terrace Heights. It's right across from the uh, Holiday Inn. Yes. Yeah, kind of. No. They're under renovation. If you, if but you so. see the locomotive on not Terrace, you found that's, it. that's the turn. Yep, make that turn. And you will not be disappointed. The places, I've been there for the, the uh, butterfly exhibit, and believe me, it is packed. It's wonderful to see kids so excited about science. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for Doing having us again. You're such a great again. job. We'll see you again, too. <laughs>